Hello children, welcome to InfoMath. Today we are going to discuss about construction for grade 10. Here our question, construct a triangle of sides 4 cm, 5 cm and 6 cm and then a triangle similar to 2 thirds of the corresponding sides. First we need to draw the triangle. The measurements are given 4 cm, 5 cm and 6 cm. Then we need to draw similar to that two third of the triangle. First as usual, how we have to draw the triangle? Any one of the measurement we have to take it as base. Let me take it as 6 cm as base. Take 6 cm as base. So take 6 cm as base. In your scale measure properly 6 cm as base. Add A I'm naming as BC 6 cm. It's a base. And then another two more sides 4 cm and 5 cm. Measure in the compass 4 cm. You know how to measure. So measure in the compass 4 cm. Now fix your compass on B. Fix your compass on B. Draw an arc 4 cm arc. Draw an 4 cm arc. Fix your compass on B. Draw an 4 cm arc. Now measure in the compass 5 cm. And fix your compass on C. Draw an another arc. Draw an another arc. That will intersect. That intersecting point name it as A. Intersecting point name it as A. Now you connect A to B and A to C. So this is 4 cm and 5 cm. Now this is the triangle. This we have to draw similar triangle for this. We should draw similar triangle of 2 third of the similar triangle. That means we are going to minimize the triangle. 2 third means we are going to minimize the triangle. I mean smaller than the given triangle. Smaller than the previous triangle. For that, draw a ray. Draw a ray dx. Only the condition to draw the ray, that must be acute angle. It must be acute angle. I mean less than 90 degree you have to draw. After drawing, here look at the fraction. Here the greater number is 3. So, this Bx must be divided into 3 equal part. 3 equal part. There is no measurement for that. Your own convenient. Don't take so big. Don't take so small. So, medium size you can take. Fix it on B. Fix it on B. Draw an arc. This name it as X1. Now, fix your compass on X1. Same size. It must be the same size. That is the condition. So fix it on X1 and draw an another arc. Draw an another arc. This must be X2. Now fix it on X2. Same. The length must be same size equal. Now fix it on X2. Draw an another arc. That must be X3. X3. Now connect. Here I already said there is no measurement for this arc. Convenient. Should not be so lengthy. Should not be so small. Now connect X3 to C. Connect X3 to C. Let it be in the dotted line. Because this is not our required diagram. Okay, this is the supportive diagram. So I drew in the dotted line. Now, now, Fix your compass on X3. Fix your compass on X3. Draw an arc. Draw an arc from the X3. Draw an arc from the X3. This is also no measurement. So draw an arc from the X3. With the same size. Same size of the measurement. How much measurement you have taken for arc. Same size. Now fix it on X2 and draw another arc with the same previous measurement. With the previous measurement. 
with the previous measurement. This is the new arc. See children, here from the x3 to this arc and x2 to this arc should be equal. Then measure the angle. Measure the angle. How to measure the angle? This intersecting point is there, no? This intersecting point here. I'm drawing, keeping the dot, you see. Intersecting point to this dot. This is called angle measurement. This is called angle measurement. You have to measure the angle. Okay? After measuring, same size with the same measurement, fix your compass here. Where don't fix it on X2. Fix here the new arc which one you drew. So fix it on the new arc which one wherever you drew. And draw an arc. Draw an arc. Draw an arc. Now draw the draw a line through the intersecting point. From the X2 have to draw a line through the intersecting point. Through the intersecting point. Here there is a condition children. X3C. I mean CX3. Must be parallel to. This we can name it as C dash. The new point is there no. That you can name it as C dash. Because C is there. Near to that it is a C dash. So C dash X2. These two lines must be parallel. C, X, C, X3 must be parallel to C dash X2. Okay. Now, we got a point that is a C dash. Same procedure must be repaired upper side. Okay. What is the procedure? The first step, fix the compass on C and draw an arc. Fix the compass on C and draw an arc. So, like this, add you the arc. With the same measurement, don't adjust the compass. With the same measurement, see I am measuring with the same measurement. How to draw from the C dash. How to draw from the C dash. How to draw the arc from the C dash. Now, again we need to measure the angles. We need to measure the angle. I mean here the intersecting point to this intersecting point. So, you can measure from here to here. Okay. After measuring the same size of the angle. See look at the both children. From here to here you have to measure the angle. I mean I am keeping the dot you see. From here to here you have to measure the angle. After measuring. Now keep your compass here. The new arc. Don't keep it on C dash. Keep it near to that. One arc is there. Then you have to keep. And draw with the same angle measurement to the previous arc. We have to draw the intersection point. We have to draw the arc from the previous arc. But the size of the angle must be that which one we measure from this angle C. The same size it must be. Now connect C dash to AB but the line should pass through to the line pass through to the intersecting point. The line pass through to intersecting point. Here, there will be a condition here also. This line must be parallel to the previous one. It should not be crossed till it. It should be lengthy. It should not be crossed. It should be straight. It must be parallel. See the arc first arc and then second arc. Now, you can draw the line that must be parallel to the AC, line AC. This you can name it as A dash. A dash. Name it as A dash. Now, here A dash, C dash, parallel to AC. Must be parallel to AC. Must be parallel to AC. Once again children. Short review of that. First what you have to do. Draw the triangle. Draw the triangle. So 6 cm. Name it as BC. 
and from the B drawn off, from the C drawn off with the 5 cm because it is given in the first team. The first arc is the 4 cm and next one will be the 5 cm. Now the intersecting point name it as A and draw acute angle, I mean less than 90 degree. This is name it as X. In your compass, measure convenient size of that compass. Fix it on B, draw not from the same size. This is name it as X1 and keep it on X1, draw another arc. This is name it as X2, keep it on X3, X2, draw an arc, that is name it as X3. Now connect X3 to C. X2, X3 to C. Now, same way we have to draw parallel line 2 from the X2. Now, how to draw? Now, first you draw the arc from the X3. The same size of the arc we have to draw from the X2. Now, measure the angle size in the compass. Fix the compass here and draw another arc. Now, connect the line from X2, X2 to the BC, but it should pass through the intersecting point. It should pass through the intersecting point. Here, this you can name it as C dash. C dash. I mean X2, C dash, parallel to X3, C. Same procedure must be repeat upper side of the triangle also. Now, draw an arc from the C and the same size, don't adjust the compass. Keep it on C dash and draw an arc. Now, measure the angle size and the same angle size here from this intersecting point, new point 2, have to draw an arc. Now, C dash to AB you have to connect. C dash to AB you have to connect. Here, it should pass through the intersecting point. Now, if you look at this, you can name it as A dash. AC must be parallel to A dash. C dash. Hence, this is the diagram A dash B A dash B C dash is required two third of triangle. Is required two third of triangle. Two third of triangle. I hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching.